This presentation will be looking at the processes that happen in the desert and specifically weathering and erosion. The following are all processes that take place in the desert and we'll be looking at in detail. Freeze for weathering, exfoliation weathering, deflation, abrasion, suspension, surface creep, saltation and deposition. So, there are two main processes that happen in the desert. Weathering is the breaking up of rocks in the place they are found. Erosion is the wearing away of rocks. So remember, weathering is the breaking up of rocks. Erosion is the gradual wearing away of rocks. Let's look at weathering processes first. So there are three types of weathering. Physical weathering, chemical weathering and biological. So physical includes freeze for and exfoliation and this is when rocks are made smaller. Chemical weathering is when rocks are broken down into minerals such as hydration and the final one is biological weathering which is plants and animals so animals might eat plants that are attached to rocks. So weathering processes then let's focus on freeze for weathering. So in the diagram on the right you can see that water fills a crack in a rock. As we know, the desert gets very cold at night, so when it freezes, the crack is made wider as the ice expands. Once it melts again, the rock breaks into several pieces. This happens in deserts because they have a high diurnal range, so it's hot in the day and cold at night. And even hard rocks can be affected, so this can happen to any sort of rocks. Our second process that we're going to look at is exfoliation weathering or onion skin weathering. This is the flaking away of the surface layer due to the repeated heating up and cooling down. So in the day it's really hot and at night it's really cold and this causes this flaking of the surface. It's easy to remember if you think like peeling away the layers of an onion. Also known as onion skin weathering. So let's look at some erosional processes then. Our first one, wind erosion. And we have a number of types of erosion that is down to the wind. Deflation is when sand gets picked up and removed by the wind to leave a hollow. Abrasion is the sandpaper effect. So imagine the sandpaper rubbing on a rock. Wind movement is another type of erosional process and there are three ways sand can be moved in the desert. Our first one is suspension, when sand is carried through the air. The second one is surface creep, that's when heavy material that can't be lifted and carried through the air is rolled along the floor. Finally, saltation is when sand grains are bounced along the floor, which accounts for 80% of all desert movement. So let's look at a diagram then. You can see suspension on the far left is when the sand grains are carried in the wind. Saltation is when they're bouncing along and surface creep is the larger materials that can't be carried in the wind. When sand particles lose energy, they are deposited onto the desert floor. So sand deposition is when sand loses its energy and falls to the floor. So, remember, there are two main types of processes in the desert. Weathering, which is the breaking down of rocks. Included in this, we have physical, chemical and biological. And we also have erosion, which is the wearing away. This includes wind erosion, which is deflation and abrasion. Wind movement, suspension, surface creep and saltation. So, remember the three S's. And deposition is when sand loses energy and is deposited on the floor.